This video will show you how to construct an API that runs on the micro gateway. Here is a visual representation of the architecture or topology that will be used for this course. You'll see that the API management node at the very top is actually running on Bluemix in the cloud. The API developer, or in other words, you, is using a browser to access that API management node. The API management node also connects to the API gateway, which in this particular case is the standalone micro gateway. This standalone micro gateway will be running on the developer's local machine. Once that gateway is up and running, it can then reach out onto the network to any sorts of resources within the enterprise or outside the enterprise that you direct it to get to. Note also that when it comes time to let other people or other developers know about your micro gateway API, you can use the developer portal. We will not use that particular step for this course. This course assumes that you have already installed the micro gateway on the local developer workstation and that you have configured your Bluemix environment to communicate with the micro gateway. To begin, log in to your Bluemix account. From the dashboard, click the menu icon and then select Drafts. Once you arrive at Drafts, click on APIs. Then click Add and click Create a new API. Give the new API a name. In this particular case, we're going to call it ReQuote. Do not associate it with any product and click Add. When the new API comes up, you'll see that a number of configuration items are already set. We will set the scheme as HTTPS. This API will produce HTML output. Right now we're going to remove the security definition that can be added again later when we want it. Now we create a path. And this will be the path that external people call to take advantage of the API. And this path we call slash requote. The standard operation is a get and that will suffice for us. We have nothing else to add to this relatively simple API. Now we click Assemble. Now we click Invoke. And we give the Invoke a title. In this particular case, a Brainy Quote. We now set the URL that this invoke will invoke to go and get the resource information that this API represents. In this particular case, we are going out to www.brainycoat.com to get a hold of some Brainy quotes. In this case, we are also going to append a search term that will be embedded in the request query string. So we use this environment variable representation for query string.
scrolling down for the rest of the invoke configuration, we see that we're not doing anything else beyond the defaults. Now we can actually click the test button and this will allow us to create a product. First we select the Micro Gateway Apps catalog which is the catalog that points at our Micro Gateway environment. Now we create a new product called Requote and we go ahead and associate the API and create the product. Now notice that we haven't saved this yet, so we go up and save it. And when we do that, the test environment notices that it's no longer saved correctly, so we republish the product. This sequence of events will happen every time you change the API and then want to go ahead and test it. Okay, now we go back to our developer workstation. We set our console level debugging to debug and we restart the gateway. The gateway goes out to the API manager on Bluemix, obtains the configuration for the new API, which we can then now use curl to actually invoke. Our first API is actually up and running and it works. Now let's have a look and see what we really saw happening here. If we scroll back in the debug of the console, we can see here where the invoke took advantage of our query string and went out and invoked Brainy Quote. That is all very well and good with one problem. All of the links and URLs embedded in the return from BrainyQuote.com point to BrainyQuote.com and not back to our API. So let's fix the fact that we want all URLs to point to our API and not to the back end. So we use a JavaScript that does exactly that. Now we go back and retest our API. We republish it because it has changed. and we can re-invoke this. First, we have to get the micro gateway running on the developer workstation to pick up the changes from the micro gateway API manager. So we stop and restart the micro gateway once again. Now we go over and run the uh, curl command to invoke the API. In this case, we're looking for quotes from Shakespeare. And when we look at the response from the API, now we see that the links have been replaced with our own links that point back to our own API. This API is now ready. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to visit the other two videos in this series.